So look and listen to this now. It says uh, three six mafias being sued. It don't say how much they being sued for. You know what I'm saying? It don't even have a dollar amount. It don't. You know what I'm saying? Usually, if, when celebrities being sued, usually it's a dollar amount on there. You know what I'm saying? But I was reading this news. It says uh, three six mafias being sued by somebody who is claiming ownership of. Damn, mostly all of their damn music. Ever since the 1990s. What is this about? Well, before I get into this news report, I'd like to let you know. Uh, check out, um, we are sponsored in part by Camilla Bates. Check out Camilla Bates. Check out her latest single off her debut album called I Am God's Greatest Creation. Available on iTunes today. You can, uh... Check out Camilla Bates at K-E-R-M-A-L-A-B-A-T-E-S dot com. The link is in the description box below. All right, so let's let's break this down, people, because these whoever this is who's coming out talking about suing Three Six Mafia after Three Six Mafia is broken. You know what I'm saying? They Roy. I mean, let let me tell you something. You would have had a better chance of. Suing Three Six Mafia at the height of Three Six Mafia. Three Six Mafia was hot. I mean, they was getting a little bit of change, right? Why would you come out years later after Three Six Mafia's, you know what I'm saying, starred and fell? And you know what I'm saying? I mean, Three Six Mafia ain't really receiving that much royalties at this point in time. Because their music is not selling like that. See, they got to go on reunion tours in in order to um they got to go on reunion tours in order to maintain you know what I'm saying to get that show money you know what I'm saying because keep 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 it real that's what a reunion tour is you know what I'm saying after years of you not touring or after years of you not making money you know what I'm saying band members come together and be like you know what we need to make some money let's start a reunion tour. And I think I did a news report on Three Six Mafia starting their reunion tour this summer. You know what I'm saying? So this is part of that. You know what I'm saying? That hype. I'm. I wouldn't be too surprised if this news story is fake, just for hype. For the simple fact that, you know what I'm saying? It didn't name the guy or the company that is being sued. That that is suing Three Six Mafia. Usually in the news, when you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 celebrities being sued, that, obviously the, the name of the person usually comes out and um, let the, you usually they put the name out there or they put the company out there. Usually they put the dollar amount out there. For an example, when the lady named Lauren put a lawsuit in the court of law. To sue Beyonce for custody of Blue Ivory, that woman's name was put out there. Why ain't this people's name is put out there? I believe, I believe this is, you know what I'm saying, just a story drummed up by the, by the powers that be. You know what I'm saying? Just to put, you know what I'm saying, uh, a fire up under Three Six Mafia's. You know what I'm saying? Three Six Mafia's um, coattail because for the simple fact that, like I said, I did a news story. I think it was in January, I believe it was, because they announced that they was going on a a reunion tour. You know what I'm saying? And actually, their reunion tour, I think it starts either this month or April. One of these two months, the reunion tour starts. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? That's just putting fire up under them. You know what I'm saying? Putting them into a spotlight to, you know what I'm saying? Make them relevant because they wasn't, they haven't been relevant for a minute ever since, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sipping on some scissors. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm looking, I mean, it 
just the story just don't make sense. Ain't no name. It just says uh, uh, somebody is suing Three Six Mafia for they claiming to have you know what I'm saying uh, wrote ninety percent of Three Six Mafia's music ever since the nineties. And you mean to tell me you coming out now when 3-6 Mafia is broke? I mean, tell me how does that make sense? If you're going to sue somebody for for royalties or if you're going to sue somebody for using your shit, you're going to sue them when they rich. Well, you're going to sue them when they got money. You ain't going to sue them when they broke. What, what sense does that make? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean... Three six mafia might not be broke, but you know what I'm saying. They ain't, they don't have it like they used to have it. You know what I'm saying. So that's that's why I say this this news story is fake. It says, you know what I'm saying. It says, uh, um, they have not received any royalties whatsoever from the whole time Three Six Mafia became a group. It says they have not received no royalties. So you haven't received any royalties, and three six and when three six mafia was hotter than a pistol, you was okay with not receiving no royalties. I don't. I I really don't understand that. I and I really don't understand how you you coming out now that three six mafia start and fail and three six mafia ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. They trying to scramble it together so that they can, you know what I'm saying, have a re- reunion tour so that they can at least get some money. And here you come out of the woodwork. Where was you at before? You know what I'm saying? This news story is fake, people. I, you know what I'm saying? This is a drummed up news story because, you know what I'm saying, number one, they don't, have, they don't even have the name of the person who's, you know what I'm saying, who's being put out there or suing them. Yeah, I, I do, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is just to put more fire up on the 3 6 Mafia because they're going on a reunion tour. But anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of the Illuminati News Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this show, hit that hate button if you hate this show, hit that comment button if you request or comment on this show. Also, don't forget, check out uh, Camilla Bates, check out her latest single off her debut album called I Am God's Greatest Creation. Available on iTunes right now. Camilla Bates is K-E-R-M-A-L-A-B-A-T-E-S. CamillaBates.com. The link is in the description box below. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget our weekly podcast also. Every Friday night at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. IlluminatiExposedMedia.com. Both links in the description box below. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.